Today on this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install special effect presets and how to use the title sequences that you can download for free on my website, frankspecialeffects.tk. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is choose whatever you want to download and install on the After Effects. Then go into so I'm just going to show you with the energy ball effects that I made. So go to whichever one, energy ball, lightsabers, lightning, or titles. But I'm going to do energy balls, so go energy balls. It's the same process for everything except for the titles because those are sequences and I'll get to those later in the video. But pretty much all you have to do is go choose whatever you want to download. You can either click here and it will it'll download all six of the colors. That's how it is on all the effects. Or you can download each color individually. So I'm just going to download this. Then you click on the, after it downloads, you click on the folder, open it up, go into that folder. And then you can just click all of the presets, click copy. Control C, go to start computer, local disk, or whatever your hard drive is, program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, support files, presets, and then just make your own folder. I already named one my presets and put in a new folder energy balls and then all you got to do is go back over here make sure you have these copied and then just paste them into this folder Con click continue continue and then you got them inside there and then go go into Adobe After Effects just to make sure that you install them correctly. I just need to wait for it to load up. When After Effects opens up, all you're going to do is you're going to click close to that file, new, new project. Just all those you're really doing right now is making sure that After Effects installed the preset for you. So one of the names of the preset is green underscore energy. And then see how under my presets, energy balls, there's green energy ball. Or you could also type in energy, and then you'll be able to find all, all six of them. That way you don't have to type in like scion energy ball, green energy ball, orange energy ball if you want to put all three of those into your video. Now I'm going to teach you how to download and use the um, use the title presets. So you go to title, choose whichever one of the presets you want to download, click download, and then all you got to do with that is choose where you want it to be. You can put it on your desktop in a, any folder you want. Then just open up the After Effects file by double clicking it. After Effects will open it. Okay, so the videos, the title sequence stopped rendering. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. If you wanted to change the name of it, all you have to do is click on the type tool and just like put whatever you want. Um, well, first you should you have to unlock the layer so that you're able to fool around with them.
will lock the presents later so that you're not accidentally highlighting that. Then you type in hello and then you can unlock the presents layer, lock the hello layer, and then type in how are you then lock it again then when you play it back it'll change from Brink James Gator Productions presents to hello how are you and then that's pretty much how you adjust the type you can make the type do whatever you want to do just by going into the transform. You can have the position of the of it move. If you want to make it be able to go forward and backward, like further from the camera, away from the camera, just keep bringing the anchor point. And then bring that up to scale the size up and bring it closer or bring it to the left and make it go further back from the camera. By doing that, you can fool around with the rotation of it by fooling around with the Z rotation. You can change the Y rotation by just moving the Y like that. But if you want everything to keep moving, you're going to have to remember to keyframe them by clicking these stopwatches. Or you'll be doing all your rotoscoping, which is adjusting the points but not even but then like I won't even wind up doing anything so this is what I just changed that to doing just by fooling around you could also add new effects to it by clicking the effect and presets you can add lightning by typing in lightning um, Type in advanced lightning. Then you can just drag that in there. Move that point there. That point there. Click composite on original. And then just fool around with the keyframes for the origin direction conductivity. Then go a few frames back, change the conductivity, and you have the lightning just fooling around. You can add anything to the videos that to the title sequences you want. You can add you can make this little hold on. Now I'm gonna get rid of the advanced lightning. With this little blue background thing, you can make it bigger or smaller by by fooling around with the transform scaling you can make it bigger smaller you can feather out the corners by fooling around with the feather so you can make it at ease out more and wider or you can make it a lot tighter just by bringing it to zero then you're pretty much uh, that's pretty much all you're doing with all the presets that there are for title sequences. If you have any questions, you can feel free to just add us on Facebook. The link to that's on the home page and under the contact us page of my website. You can just post on the wall, send a message saying how the link's not working or you need help with something or you can even give it like give ideas on what effects we can try to figure out how to make to help you out and we'll try to add, we'll update the site as much as we can <laughs>